My name is Marie Crow, and I'm on staff here at Crossroads Church. And my dear friend, Lynn Hagrup, uh, she and I, being both veggie lovers that we are, decided that we wanted to have a farmer's market. We both would travel to Atlanta to go to farmer's markets, and the local farmers, we noticed, were driving to Atlanta too. We would run into vendors that had booths there that were from our area, so we thought, let's create a farmer's market for our area. So it was really out of just selfish convenience. No. Um, um, this was just a really great opportunity for us to support local agriculture and give back to our community and just provide a way for them to seek healthier alternatives, basically. So remember when we started it, we have local um, grass-fed meats, and we have local honey, and we have dairy, and produce, and soap, and baked goods, and just about anything and everything that you could possibly want, along with um, just different kinds of great produce that are produced from local uh, farmers. Um, it's a great way to support local agriculture, but also just to educate people on a healthier way of living. We very much live in a uh, fast food society, which is killing us as a society. And um, as passionate as I am about that, I really feel like if we don't have another way, then we're going to keep doing the old the things that we're used to. And so by providing a farmer's market for local people, it's really giving them another option outside of a McDonald's. Outside of it's, it's making them get back to basics. It's making them go home and make a meal with their family and sit down at a table. And, you know, it's, it's all part of that big picture of the, just the kind of dream that I wanted for my own family that I'm hoping that every family will get to experience. Thanks. All right. It's the long and short of it. Yeah, that's really good. If you are in the area and you are looking for healthy, amazing, homegrown food, please come to the 1010 Farmers Market. Join us, have a good time, and just enjoy the community. And the times and place? The time. Every Thursday from 4 to 7 p.m. And it's an indoor market. It's just off Stewart Parkway in Douglasville at 5960 Stewart Parkway. And you are pretty busy. Yes, we are pretty busy. We are a small-scale, sustainable farm here in Douglasville. We are managing a family farm that's been farmed for over 100 years. And um, my farm partner and I, Catherine, have taken it over this year. This is our first year growing on our own, and we um, have over 75 different types of vegetables, flowers, and then fruit, beef, strawberries. And um, we're also going to have a CSA this year, uh, 30 members. We are almost filled up. So, and we'll be selling here in Douglasville and Decatur and um, what is our other one? Oh, at an, at an East Lake Village. And, um, and what's a CSA? CSA stands for Community Supported Agriculture. And um, basically, you being the customer buys a share in the business. And we, as the grower, promise to grow you food um, to, to, and you have an agreement that you, sorry I'm losing track of thought here, um, basically you can buy a full share or a half share. A full share is going to be eight to ten items and a half share is going to be four to five items and um, you will pick up your share every single week and the, and the food that will be in the share is according to what's grown locally and seasonally at that time. My name is Melanie Skinner. I own Whole Grains and More in Carrollton. Um, I established my business in 2002. I've been there nine years. Um, everything I bring to the markets, I grind my, I, I grind all my wheat berries up. Everything's made fresh. I try to let use um, all natural products, nothing processed. In my store, though, I sell everything you need to bake your own bread. Uh, you know, to grind wheat, you know, grind your own wheat. And uh, I sell organic beans. Um, organic uh, coconut oil, I sell raw honey, um, anything basically you need to make your own. And I do classes also too, and I teach, you know, we teach there too, we have classes there. All my um, produce is organically grown here and locally in Douglas County. Get to the um, and I like to grow a vast variety of different vegetables. For example, bok choy is not a common vegetable. Right. And I, have, I actually go three different varieties of bok choy. Here we have a purple variety and just as, uh, your standard variety. So, and then we have three Eggs. versions. I like to uh, kind of introduce the community to different color eggs. So you got the green eggs and ham. Sam, I am. And you have different um, 
This is the olive egg that's produced by an East, what they call it the Easter egg chicken. And it'll either give you a green egg or a green egg or a blue egg. So, also, I like to grow fresh herbs. And you see a little bit of mint, thyme, some oregano. Um, I also like to specialize in a few of the rare, like the French tarragon, which is actually hard to grow in the south. Um, and also some stevia. So I do carry stevia as well. And that's um, a, another one that's difficult to grow in the south because um, you know, it's a tender perennial. And that's a substitute for sugar, is stevia. Um, and we still have a little bit of uh, cold cut, cold hearty vegetables still left over. We have some fresh mustard greens and some Swiss chard. And everyone's favorite, cilantro. Yeah. <laughs> um, cilantro seems to be my most popular herb here at the market. It is? All right. These are homemade, no, uh, there's no preserve. No preservatives. We've got our own flour. There's regular cheese, peanut butter, turkey pot pie, our newest product, and there's wheat free of those varieties. <laughs> if you'd you like to see the ingredients, there's this menu right here. Okay, and are they for humans or? They're for dogs. Okay, so they're dog treats. And do you try them on your own dog? Yes, sir. Yeah. Taste tester. Okay. And our dad likes to eat them fresh out of the oven. Too. Oh, really? <laughs> so they're that healthy, right? And uh, what's your dog's favorites? Uh, peanut butter. Peanut butter. <laughs> the peanut butter one? Yes, sir. So if you give him a choice, peanut butter is his choice. All right. Um, we produce all natural jams, jellies, and chutneys. Our products are local harvest, wild harvest, or what we like to call reclaimed harvest from folks that have trees that they're not using. We go in and take care of their trees and harvest the fruit they and in return do stuff for them and help them with their yards and things like that. All right. And uh, what is your most uh, popular product? Probably our elderberry jelly, which we get completely from wild harvest. Okay. So that goes the best. And uh, any particular one that is near and dear to you? I, I would have to say the elderberry because it's what started our whole business. All right. Even our farm is named after our elderberries. Oh, really? So, you doing this full time? Yes, we do. Okay. So, and you travel, I assume, to more than this? Yes, we do local farmers markets. Okay. That keeps you busy? Yes, it does. All right. Great. My name is Paul Hardy. I'm with the Hardright Bakery Catering. We've been serving Atlanta for 22 years. We do homemade, baked goods, specialized, custom-made items. Okay. And what's your what's your specialty? Would you say? Uh, my specialty is this is it. Look at it. Everything we do is special. Uh, we do cakes, we do pies, we do all sorts of baked goods. Also, we cake. Okay. Do you have a favorite product yourself? My cakes, cookies, and brownies. Those are the most popular items right now. Custom made breads, uh, bananas, zucchini, sweet potato. Okay. What kind of cakes do you have there? Today I have uh, just a carrot and a key lime cake. Well, we're Jeff and Deb Mushroom. We started a year ago. Um, we started because we both got laid off. Jeff was in the hotel industry, I was in commercial real estate, and we've always had a dream of owning our own company. My family, my mother's side is from Mexico, and I used to make tamales on the summers with my grandmother who spoke no English. Couldn't find tamales here, so I started making them each Christmas with my girlfriends. And they would take some home, and I gave some to Jeff one Christmas, and he took them to a bar. <laughs> And everybody in the bar asked if he sold them, and he said, well, sure I do. And he came home and said, Dad, we need to make more. I sold some. I was like, holy moly, what? And that's how the business started. After a year of being in the markets, we expanded into a restaurant in Marietta, Georgia, where we do a crawfish etouffee and a Caribbean jerk for a New Orleans-style restaurant. We're currently uh, trying to get into uh, grocery stores, vegetarian tamale, which are gluten-free, GMO-free, and uh, we're currently going to be in sporting events 
starting the fall at Georgia Tech, so we'll be doing football games and baseball games at Georgia Tech. Campus. That's great. All right, and what what do you offer all here at the farmers market? We have uh, we have 13 different types of tamales that you can get on our online website. And we bring about six or seven a week. So uh, we do crawfish etouffee and uh, two vegetarians, uh, Caribbean jerk, uh, chicken and cheese and jalapeno, a barbacoa of beef. Uh, you know we do Italian meatball, chicken mole, buffalo chicken. So we do different ones that you can't find anywhere. So we can serve some specialty tamales. Great. I'm Kathy Stitcher, Dog River Trading Company. I make custom jewelry. Every piece that you see here is made with these two little hands and a few little jewels. Um, new here to the market, just, this is just my first day. And I'm looking forward to uh, a big success here. Well, I'm Glenn O'Daffer. Um, my wife Candy O'Daffer is the proprietor and the manufacturer of the soap and products you see here on our table today. Um, they're handmade, natural products, made with coconut palm and olive as the base. They're very mild. You can use them on your face or anywhere. And we have some that have fresh goat milk in them, and those are even more moisturizing. And they. Uh, have a creamier level than the rest. You can get every bar of soap here from head to toe. Um, my wife has been making soap now for 11 years, um, and we enjoy doing farmers markets, getting out and meeting people, and uh, selling our natural products. And we also make um, shea body butter, which is uh, a nut from Ghana, and she puts vitamin E and olive oil, and she whips that. And that's a very nice heavy moisturizer for your skin. A lot of women really like that product that we have. Um, we have lip balms, sugar scrubs, and many other things. Um, come down to the market and see us. I hope you, hope you enjoy our products. All right, great. It's uh, all natural, freshly made local salsa. We have a whole bunch of different kinds, from mild to spicy, depending on the customer's preference. Uh, we have everything from salsas that you can dip chips in, to marinades, to cooking sauces, and we also sell chicken, pork, or veggie tamales as well. Uh, we are Heritage Farm. We are uh, uh, farmers in Carroll County over in the community of Tice. We are organic, not certified organic, but certified naturally grown growers of about 60 varieties of produce, uh, about nine different kinds of meat products. Uh, we raise everything in a pasture-based, uh, organic model environment um, for resale at farmers markets and on farm. Uh, we're licensed uh, USDA processors and uh, we're licensed from the Georgia Department of Ag for mobile retail meat sales. All right. What's your most popular product? My most popular product is our signature item, which is a uh, pasture-based based broiler chicken. Uh, it's a whole chicken. It's uh, a, a red broiler that we raise in a, uh, a slow growth model. And I think that's probably the most popular product that we, that we bring to market. Two Okay.